Chuck Todd is NBC's political director and moderator of Meet the Press. Chuck, good morning. It's good to see you as always. Uh, you guys have a big NBC News Wall Street Journal poll that you're going to roll out on Meet the Press this morning. We can give our viewers a little bit of a preview of that. One number that jumps out at me is that 80 percent, 80 of Americans believe that the country is out of control. What do you read into that number? What is it telling you? Well, it, Willie, think about how this year began. It began with an impeachment. Then it moved to a pandemic. And we went from a health crisis to an economic crisis. And now we have this, which is our original virus in this country, um, front and center for us. And so with the protests, in some ways, it shows you that the American public is paying attention. The American public is wondering um, where Washington is. And it has felt, you know, more than any of the other levels of elected leadership in this country, on the national level, everybody has looked more paralyzed. President Trump in particular, obviously, first and foremost. But in general, there is a sense that like, OK, it, it, his hand on the steering wheel is a bit uh, is a bit out of control here. And does anybody else have the ability to take the wheel? And I think that that that's the reflection you see in this poll. Yeah, it's, it's a fascinating number. It's probably reflected on the other side as well. Some Americans look at what's in the streets and they feel like that looks out of control to right. them. The president obviously had a moment early this week where the square across from the White House, Lafayette Park, was cleared mm -hmm. so that he could have a photo op walking through that square going to St. John's Episcopal Church and to stand there holding a Bible, didn't visit the church, didn't pray, just held the Bible, said it wasn't his Bible, but it was a Bible. Uh, he drew heavy criticism from generals for that move. He drew criticism even from some Republicans who have been reluctant to criticize them. Will we look back on that, Chuck, as a big moment in, the, in Donald Trump's presidency? I, look, I think we will. I mean, I think it is a it'll turn into one of those. You just have to say a word and you, it invokes an image. Charlottesville. Right. And you, with Trump and you immediately go to that both sides. Um, thing that he did, Helsinki, you immediately go to that press conference with Putin. So in some cases, it's that. But look, Willie, we got a caution. I mean, there's he's had so many of these moments that are the boy, this this could be it. Um, and it began when he first started his campaign, when he went after John McCain. So we've been through a lot of these moments that look to many political observers like, boy, that is that that'll be debilitating for him. It hasn't been. But you got to ask yourself, it, it's starting to accumulate. And I think especially in this short period of time of the pandemic uh, and sort of the erratic handling of that, the erratic handling of these protests, I think it is starting to leave a mark. But as you say, importantly, a long five months between now and Election Day, a lot can happen. Mm -hmm. Chuck, thank you very much. As always, we'll look for much more this morning on Meet the Press when Chuck talks about whether this really is a turning point for America with Democratic Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey.